Japan celebrated the vernal equinox with a 3D weekend, so I visited Oita Prefecture and all of its hard-offs. Complete copies of the first and second gen Pokemon games are fairly common. These are priced at 15 to 20 bucks each. Locked in a showcase and selling for a cool $240 is Battle Garega for the Sega Saturn, a very rare shooting game only released in Japan. In between boxed copies of Mega Man 4 and 5 is a cheap but slightly scuffed Super Smash Bros. Melee. The Panasonic Q is a rare version of the GameCube that plays full-size DVD movies. It's going for $150. The market for the Sega Genesis has exploded in the last couple of years and consoles are very hard to come by. In this hard-off though, you can pick up a Model 1 for $40 or a box Model 2 for $100. Similarly priced at $100 is a limited edition Pokemon Center exclusive Game Boy Color. Super Famicom games frequently cost much less than their Super Nintendo versions. For example, A Link to the Past sold for less than $20, and Yoshi's Island for less than $15. Not only did this hard-off have a rare GameCube, they had a rare Sega Saturn. Produced by the electronics company Victor, the V Saturn isn't much different from the regular console. The AV Famicom, almost identical to the top-loading NES, has become very sought after. It often goes for more than $100 when complete in box. At $85, this is relatively cheap. Next to the Famicom is a loose PC Engine core duo for almost $100. Like the Sega Genesis, PC Engine consoles and games have become very expensive, even in Japan. Compared to the last shop, this Sega Genesis Model 1 costs $30 extra, but it does come with another controller. It wasn't a popular console, but you'll sometimes come across 3DO consoles and games. This complete in-box, top-loading model is priced at $60. Bucks. Some more cheap Super Famicom games complete in box. Star Fox for $7 and The Secret of Mana for $12. The Game Boy Camera once held the Guinness World Record for smallest camera, and now it costs $3. This original Game Boy looks brand new and costs almost $20. To its right is a special edition Astro Game Boy Lite, a backlit Game Boy Pocket available only in Japan. It costs 150 bucks and hasn't moved in the four years that I've seen it in the shop. Before coming to America on a cartridge, Castlevania first released on the Famicom Disk System. You can buy this original copy for $15. Japanese PlayStations come in a variety of colors, and this pink one will set you back 150 bucks. Now we hit my favorite part, the junk section. A computer system popular in Japan in the 1980s, the MSX was produced by many different companies. This Sony model goes for $80, but I couldn't tell you what's wrong with it because of the scribbling. Hopefully, it will still play Metal Gear. Turbo Duos are notorious for failing because of bad capacitors. Replacing them can be a serious hassle, but 80 bucks for a Duo is a steal at today's prices. This gold N64 looks very roughed up by Japanese standards, so it's only 6 bucks. Old Famicoms go for relatively cheap because they only connect via an RF switch. This one probably still works and it's 20 bucks in the box. In the junk section, you'll find bins full of old cartridge games, as well as disc games, usually the overstock for common titles. Junk sections always have N64 consoles just playing around. When I visit a new hard-off, I love to see if any of them have the RAM expansion installed. On their own, they go for nearly 20 bucks, but if I can find one in a junk console, I can get the whole thing for less than $5. That's it for the junk, now on to the treasure. I bought a complete in-box Pokemon Blue, but I did have to replace the safe battery. And to go with it, I bought the original Game Boy. I caved and bought a Model 1 Mega Drive. 39 bucks is a pretty good price in Japan. I also bought a couple of good shooters to play, as well as the rare Midnight Blue variant of the N64. And of course, the standard N64 with the expansion pack. So ends this episode of Hands On Hard Off. You won't find these deals in the city, so if you're in Japan, head out to the country and see what rare games await. Thanks for watching and mahalo.